all units, report of a narcotic sale in progress. Any officers near Firehouse, please copy. Find a back way in. I am losing patience. Where is the file? There's someone else here. They must have taken it. Those masks. Who are these guys? There's no one here but us. We will find the file. Or you will die. This is bad. They'll kill her if I alert them. We need to pick them off silently. Yuri, the silent alarm was legit. Masked gunmen and a single hostage. Looks like a heist in progress. Copy that. Sending units your way. Keep the situation from getting worse in the meantime. Can do. <laughs> Gotta do this quietly. Don't want to alert the others. They always look so cozy whipped up like that. Really hope these guys aren't trying to claim Kingpin's territory. I was hoping for at least a weekend of R&R. &R. Should web him from above. Stay quiet now. Someone's coming. They'll see me down here. My patience wears thin. Someone else is here. I she must have the file. If they're here, where are they? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Move it, Pete. Bad guys are getting ready to be bad. Yo, Kyla! Hey, what is that?
This totally belongs to... Don't move. Buddy, if I had a nickel for every don't move... Hey, Pete. MJ? What are you doing here? Same as you. Working. At least... I was. Oh, I, uh, think this is yours. Yeah, thanks. So, Robbie's got you covering a break-in for the Bugle? Well, Robbie doesn't technically know I'm here. And it wasn't a break-in until a few minutes ago. Uh, uh huh? Let me explain. Excuse me. Hi, Mary Jane Watson. I'm covering the Fisk estate sale. Hello. Craig said we'd do this tomorrow. I like to get a jump on things. Well, I don't. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Right. Okay. I'm sorry. Hey, Craig? No, sorry. It just... It looks like we're gonna have to run something else on the cover. I don't know, uh, maybe the expressionist piece? You know what? I think I can make today work. Are you sure? You're here, no moment like the present. Thank you. Craig? Never mind. We're good. Let's get started. Look around and familiarize yourself with the items. I'll be waiting by the Baku statue when you're ready to begin. Can do. Bedfisk saw himself in this. A great man willing to do what others wouldn't. <laughs> Dude had no self-awareness. <sighs> Fisk cut Peter open like a pork sausage with this the first time they fought. Pete got away, collapsed. I remember when Fisk started illegally importing artifacts like this. He bought the local harbor to cover his tracks and laid off the old staff, including my dad. Wish dad was here now to see how the tables have turned. Hmm, Simcaria. Weren't they just in the news? Sometimes I feel like the whole history of the world is just boys playing dress up, getting into fights. I can't get over this image. So much tension between these two figures. What did Fisk call this? Vanessa? Heard from the underworld, huh? Super tempted to ring this guy. And how much am I bid for this collection of villainy and deceit, starting at 10,000 broken lives and dreams? 10,000 going once. May would love this. I gotta admit, I miss May. I always hated this cane. So tacky. 
Let me know when you're ready to begin. Sounds good. Starting with the prize, a one-of-a-kind Kake Monbaku. Oh, beautiful. It's a Mifune? Correct. Mr. Fisk has exceptional taste. Did you know him well before his arrest? In a professional context. I handled many of his sales. Let's move on, please. Now, this exquisite piece exemplifies the traditional Tarashikomi puddled ink effect. The two Neo are so imposing. I can see why Fisk liked this piece. Definitely his style. He loved the duality. Destruction screams, but creation toils in silence. Was there ever anything irregular in any of the sales you handled for him? No. No, of, of course not. Not that I was aware of. Notice the intricate gold inlay on this ceremonial tea set. It's just... A friend in the DA's office mentioned that Fisk used art sales to launder stolen goods. I'm... sure I wouldn't know anything about that. Oh, I know. I was just wondering, now that he's arrested, if you had ever noticed anything... strange. You know what? I'm actually running short of time. Why don't we grab the cover photo while we can? When I told my DA friend I was doing a piece on you, he mentioned your name was familiar. Just the photo, please. Stand right there. Are you sure there's nothing you'd like to say, maybe off the record, regarding Fisk's activities? I don't think your readers would have any interest in... Damn it. Wait here, please. Wait. I recognize that statue. I gotta get a photo. That shouldn't be here. Hello? Craig? Can you hear- Craig, I'll call you back. My dear, I think it's time for you to go. Oh, um, could I use the restroom real quick? Fine, follow me. Thank you. This- this is a really lovely space. It is, and this will be the last time you see it. The ladies is around the corner. Be quick. Of course. Be right back. Hello, Craig. Funny you should call. Because the reporter you sent is clearly not working the puff piece we agreed upon. No, she's here now. I've got to get into that back room. If that statue is what I think it is, this just turned into a huge story. What do you mean he had to reschedule? If she's not your reporter, who... She prayed. Quiet. Who is in my auction house? Oh my god. No, I do not trust you to fix this. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is have Miss Investigative Journalist arrested. And the second Miss Investigative Journalist arrested. And the second thing I'm going to do is collect your head, Craig. Dang, she's pissed. It is most definitely a threat. Uh-huh. Sure, Craig. Right. I don't believe you. Uh-huh. Sure, Craig. Pete told me about this. Fisk used it to hide evidence. Why didn't the cops take it? I know this statue opens, but how? That's the 
Neo behind them, but it looks different. These pieces move. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. Hmm. The catalog mentioned two poses. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. Nice. So close. But a piece is missing. I've seen these before. That's not right. Fits, but it's not the right one. Something's in one of his hands. What is that? Excuse me, sir. You you can't be not good. Where's the statue? In in, in, in there. Ba Wen Jin Zao Su Lai. I was on my way to the exit when I saw you. You're lucky to be alive. This is the guy I saved five minutes ago. Listen, whoever these masked guys are, they're after this file. But I'll never get it out of here while the place is swarming with them. Right. Okay. Um, you hide back there. I take out the bad guys. You make a break when it's clear. Sounds like a plan. Good to see you, Pete. Yeah, you too. Not exactly how I pictured us meeting again, though. Funny. It's exactly how I pictured it. Did she change her perfume? Focus, Pete, focus. Okay, 
Pete, I'm hidden near the front. Give the word and I'll make a break for it. Will do. How about that file? What's in it that these guys want so bad? Notes on something called Devil's Breath. Fisk was hired to build a secret research lab for it. Not clear what Devil's Breath is, but it seemed to scare Fisk. He compares it to Pandora's box. Not much shook Fisk. We need to get you and that file out of here. Hang tight. Was clear. Please, don't. Where is it? I swear, I don't know. I'm telling you, it was the report. She must. Gotta stay silent. all of them. No! Let me go! MJ! Stop! No. Hide! Not cool with the hostage-taking guys. What's up with that glowy stuff on your hands? Are you guys ghosts? Never fought a ghost before. I mean, I've fought specters, but you know, technically specters aren't ghosts. All ghosts are specters, but not all specters are ghosts. You know what I mean? Ah, eh, seems like this is an energy thing, not a ghost thing. All good. Fight a ghost stays on the old bucket list. Oh, 
my head. Daily cardio? Check. Huh. Looks antique. I think I know someone who could help track down where this came from. A job for later. I just talked to Craig. You are not the reporter he was sending. You don't even work for Heritage Arts. Never said I did. Hi, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. You... You will not write a word of what you saw For the here. record, what do you know about the file those masked men stole? That... I, I don't... What about the long history of stolen goods Fisk has laundered at this auction house? Your editor will be hearing from our attorney. Mix? <laughs> like the last six months never happened? Since when did Mix become Italian? No idea, but I'm still glad he makes these fries. Totally. Best in the city. So, how's the grind at the Bugle? Hmm. Well, meeting with a legal team. Again. Uh, as soon as he reads the article you're gonna write, guaranteed promotion. So, creepy mask guys. What's your take? Just another night in the city. What's your take? I feel like there's a bigger story there. Let's not make this all about business. How's, how's it going with you? Did, did you get that promotion? No, but we're on the cusp of something really big. You know Oscorp would hire you in a heartbeat, right? One phone call to hair. Sure, but Dr. Octavius' work will help millions. I'm, I'm, I'm right where I want to be, right where I should be. Almost well, sounds like it's more important than your other job. I've never heard you talk like that before. A lot can change in six months. Why did you ask me here, Pete? You know, just, uh, just dinner between friends. Friends? Is that what we are? I Maybe mean, we could be, you know, if, if, if that's what you wanted. <laughs> There's a lot of baggage here. Yeah, sure, but is that so bad? I mean, baggage can carry good things, too, like, uh, like money and uh, keys and raspberry lip balm. Do you remember why we broke up? This is a trick question, isn't it? Saved by the siren. Talk to you later. Go. Cool. Love seeing you two together again. You always were my favorites.
Hey, it's me. What's with the units heading down third? Looks like our old friend Herman Schultz is at it again. Shocker. Didn't he just get paroled? Yeah, well, guess it didn't take. No worries. Herman's just a big cupcake. I'll have him back in Rikers by bedtime. Just had dinner with my ex after saving her from mass criminals. And now I'm gonna go beat up a maniac who uses shockwaves to rob people. What a perfectly normal life you have, Peter Parker. Attention all units. Kidnapping reported. Additional officers needed in Times Square. Over. Peter, I just want to make sure you haven't left any equipment you've built for your friend around the lab. It's no bother to me, but if the Grand Committee stops by again... Don't worry, Doc. I make a point not to leave anything there. But I know my friend appreciates you looking out for him. There's a lot of people who don't like him very much. That buffoon Jameson and his audience of sheep? Please. The people who do great things in this world are those who don't let bullies like him stand in their way. People like us. You said a mouthful, Doc. Take care. Available units need response to a break-in. Officers near Bowery, please respond. Hi, Herman. Seriously? Give it up! You're never gonna catch me! That's what you said last time. I don't wanna hurt you! You'll just slow me down! Wow, that's considerate. What's the money for, Herman? What do you care? Actually, I don't. I'm trying to make the right conversation. I'm done talking! But this could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level! Wait, I forgot. You don't have emotions. Come on, Herman! At least talk to me so we can make it interesting! Gotcha. Now let's talk. I said I'm done talking! Noted. Uh, 
Seriously, Hermit, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Not enough. to keep up. Getting away. You know what, Herman? You have like zero personality. But your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. It looks like I got some... Hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah. He was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yep. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now.
Peter. What can I do for you? Uh, sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Come see what you have. Interesting. Where'd she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. I never used to feel safe at the other shelter. Well, that this went one, about as well as I, I could have hoped. Never had there's always someone looking out for us. You know, the business community's really stepped up. Both job training and hiring. Well, most of them. Sad not to see Oscorp here. I could patch these shoes. They'll last a while yet. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. could be injured. Your men 
Strange Spider-Man. There's someone inside that car. They're pit. I've got you. Stay calm. Someone's trapped in that car. Okay, people are safe. I should clear out so the professionals can get in. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I didn't forget, forget, I just, I, I'll be there soon. <sighs> His tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker, you're better than this. <sighs> That's right. How did I lose track of time? Units be advised. Commercial robbery in progress. Please proceed to Chelsea ASAP. Peter, Mr. Lee spoke to me. He seemed worried. Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry. I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work. In a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe 
the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Herman, long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Want to play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb us? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa. Your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You want to fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? Me so young and stupid? You just stupid! You off no mind! Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking versus not talking? Also, how would you measure? Words per minute, syllables per second? Or is it more about how many words one uses to express a single thought? It's all so subjective. If you ask me, some people don't talk enough. It's about who their mysterious overlord is, the person they're working for, that kind of thing. Coming your way! Okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I go, they'll kill me! You come clean, I can help you! You really want to help me? Don't let me have the money! Sorry, not gonna happen. anymore you're lucky you found actual cash if you really want to rob bank try day trade it's all the rage wait wait wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. oh come on herman the deal if i talk i'm dead they made that very clear Okay, catch this one with your face! You're freaking me out, Herman! It's not like you to be afraid of people! Not even sure these guys are people! Could be anything under those masks! Wait, did you say masks? These mask guys! What do they want the money for? Don't know! Don't care! Don't that matter to jump! 
yourself literally man he was scared and desperate these demons are everywhere all of a sudden 